Hi, I'm Chris Clark, Artistic Director of Cinema St. Louis, presenters of the 20th Annual Whitaker St. Louis Filmmaker Showcase. And I'm here with our guest director, John Alston, um, and talk about his film, Augustus. Um, I have to talk about John's background uh, a little bit. Um, he uh, went to Stanford, um, went to USC Film School after he was a professional football player, uh, third round draft for the um, St. Louis Rams. So spent some time here in the 314 and uh, enjoy the city and the vibe. Um, his first film was a narrative feature called Red Butterfly, which we had the great fortune to premiere uh, at the festival in 2014. Um, John's in LA, in LA right now, and uh, happy to have this uh, uh, opportunity to chat about this moving, emotional, I don't know how many adjectives to use. Um, you know, it's about race and dignity and honor and, you know, a tribute to your mom and, and so many things. So, you know, I'll let you take this at this point, John. Just tell me what truly inspired you to, to tell this story. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, Augustus, you know, it's, it was um, it was a lot. You know, uh, I have worked with uh, Allende uh, at USC on short film. And um, I think sometime last year in February, he called me and sent me uh, uh, something he had been working on, which was uh, originally Augustus. And um, I read it and I said, there's something really beautiful about this, right? With the, the imagery, what he, what, what, what he was trying to say in the, in the parts of it. And so I, I immediately kind of jumped into it. And then I said, okay, well, we're going to rework the script, make the protagonist a lot more active to make things work out like we should structure it, structure wise. But then I was like, but other than that, the bones, you know, there's a lot of really great things here because I don't know, you know, uh, at that time it was February of what, 2019. And, um, at that point, I had lived in St. Louis, and I had already written um, a pilot that helped get me, you know, representation in Los Angeles and helped me get a job on All American as, as a writer for two years. And um, you know, I, I was very familiar with, you know, the protests and that type of culture. And I thought that, you know, regardless of what happened in Ferguson one way or the other, the individual activism that came out of that, right, kind of set off. I guess activism in the United States again, you know, like when you had women's marches coming out of that afterward and you start to see certain elements of change, it made, you know, activism kind of cool again in a way. And uh, you kind of see now in 2020 how relevant that became. And, and um, you know, Augustus isn't, you know, it's not a process movie per se, but it is a story about a guy that just, you know, wants to live a regular life, but can't because of institutional, um, I, you can call it racism if you want, but, um, and, uh, you know, he has an opportunity via some other established abolitionists to, um, you know, make, make a change for his life for the better, which he refuses at first and then realizes that he can't live that normal life that he wants, right? And so he's kind of forced to speak up. And I, I think the, the, the basic message of that film is if you are aware of, you know, certain types of injustices and things of that nature, it's not to sit back because you can't be comfortable if you sit back. You're going to have to take action. And, um, uh, you know, it's, it was a cool idea to go between, you know, the past and the present. And, um, you know, we, we had the ideas of utilizing in the dream sequences of the film um, family members of Augustus, right? Because really, if he's just trying to be your average everyday man or the, the patriarchal ideologies of masculinity and that is providing for a family, the first thing that he's going to be he's going to be fearful of in his dreams is losing members of that family, um, starting with his son and his wife. You know, and, and even if you, if you catch it uh, in the earlier dream sequences, his daughter is in that dream as well. And, um, you know, that's, these are just some of the things. And for me personally, you know, um, growing up in Bastrop, Louisiana, um, I saw what, um, you know, I would, I would say, you know, the, uh, the wrongful utilization of the justice system can do to people, uh, primarily to my mother. She was railroaded on something. Uh, because she pissed off the wrong people as a prosecutor in Bastrop, Louisiana, you know, as a very powerful uh, black woman. And um, that took five years from her life and my life with her, right? I was 10 years old, and I spent years and years of my life, you know, trying to build a better life for us. That's part of the reason why I went to Stanford, part of the reason why I went to the NFL. I mean, when she when she was gone, she made me promise to get straight A's. I did. And, um, you know, as I got older, you know, I start to really understand and be able to contextualize that situation and the situation of a lot of Americans. Um, you know, when I started to study public policy at Stanford at first, and uh, well, I got a minor in it actually. And uh, I was thinking I was going to be a lawyer, but uh, I happen to be good at football. And I also happen to love the arts. So here we are. Um, so yeah, you know, Augustus is a, it was a crazy journey. You know, I was uh, 
writing on a television show at the time. And um, it was a lot of work in the middle of that. Um, had three and a half days in Richmond, Virginia, and going from Los Angeles. So you can only imagine what it was like to assemble a crew um, and, you know, scout and have a chance to make this thing. And it was 18 pages on the page. And we had, you know, like I said, three and a half days. It was, it was a lot. Um, didn't sleep, <laughs> you know. But uh, I thought it was well worth the risk because the story, to me, meant something. It's very personal, you know. And uh, I thought it was a cool little flip, a cool little surprise at the end. So, you know, I, I, I really enjoyed the piece. I enjoyed making this piece. Um, we're, we're starting to pick up some steam as far as other festivals and things of that nature, which is great. Uh, so we just get the word out on it. And uh, obviously, anytime I can be a part of anything in St. Louis, I really enjoy it, you know. So that's, that's the journey with Augustus. That's great. Well, well a, a theme that seems to, to run through your life, if you say you're going to do something, you do it. Um, you know, there's been plenty of professional athletes who say, oh, I'm going to be, you know, this or be that. And you want to be a, a filmmaker and storyteller. Well, easier said than done, but you walk the walk and you do it and you, you know, work in the business and you work hard and you, you know, delivered, you know, what you say. So that's, that's great. And, you know, it, you know, without getting too deeply into it, you know, clearly there was maybe some catharsis uh, for you to, to help tell this story and share. Um, you know, you, you kind of hint around in your letter that, you know, the, the pain of your past, you helped, you, you wanted to <clears throat> address, you know, on some level uh, with the story. And I hope it helped. Um, and I hope your mom liked it. Um, yeah, she loves it. Um, you know, and, and it's part of the journey. Like I said, you know, um, you know, the next project that I'm working on right now is, is adapting the St. Louis Man, um, doc into a film. Really? You know, we're, oh, we're almost great. Done, almost, that's great. That's fantastic. Yeah, I almost done with the screenplay. You know, I know Bruce very well. Um, and, you know, he's just an amazing man. And, and as I like, go deeper into understanding his story and his journey, and it, it is, Bruce embodies what we actually need in this country right now. We need people from communities to represent the communities that they, you know, that they claim to be representing. True, like, you know, truly represent those communities. Look like regular people and be with those people who know the people on the ground, you know, who can work with, um, who can work with police and who can work with other politicians as well as they can work with members of the community. And I think that's really important versus having people from nowhere come in and represent places and that, that, with people they don't even know or care about. And, um, you know, I don't personally believe that a president is a savior, you know, or should a president, uh, you know, send us into hell so much, so much if we have strong leadership on the ground. And that's the beauty of Bruce's story. You know, it's just, it's just truly uh, inspirational. So I look forward to being able to tell that one too. Yeah, I look forward to seeing that. Um, we showed the film at, at both the showcase and the festival last year, and Bruce came to both screenings. Just, you know, meeting him for like five seconds. He just, he just is a sweet, nice, honest, earnest man who likes being yep. a dad and wanted to yep. do something good. And, you know, <clears throat> terrible stuff got in the way and it's too bad, but, you know, he did it. Um, and that means that someone else can do it and someone else can do it and someone Absolutely. else can do it. And I love that you want to tell his story and, and keep it it's, going. It's an amazing story. It's the story of that. Yeah. Well, that's great. John, I'm so glad you shared Augustus with us. Um, I was, you know, I never know what's going to come in through the transom and you're, you know, you don't live here anymore. So we're not always in touch. I, you know, I didn't know you were working on this film, of course. Um, <clears throat> but then it came in and like, I recognized the name right away. And, oh, well, what is this? So, you know, that, as soon as I watched it, I knew we were, we were going to be here one day. So I'm thrilled to have, you know, your, this film is part of the event. Uh, you're truly one of us now. So you know, always uh, going to be an alum. So um, we look forward to the next film and the next film and hope you're being happy and safe out there in LA. I like your apartment very much. That looks nice. Um, and thanks again for spending part of your time uh, with me this morning to talk about this film. And I'm happy to be able to share this whole conversation with our audiences. 100%. It's a, it's a pleasure.